Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. Happy Monday everybody, hope you had a great weekend. In this video we'll walk through the new galactic challenge for today where we are taken to the planet of Malakor. Now did you know that Malakor was a rocky wasteland planet located in the outer rim? It was a planet shrouded in mystery and the location of the Great Scourge of Malakor. Now the Great Scourge uh, which took actually thousands and thousands of years before the rise of the Galactic Empire was an ancient battle between the Sith and the Jedi. And during this battle, a super weapon was activated which killed and petrified all the participants of the battle. Now that's one of the ways I would not want to go out for sure. But anyway, for today's challenge we're facing a squad of the Old Republic and we have to use a full squad of clone troopers to get max rewards so let's first cover the modifiers and the feats and then I'll show you the teams and mods that I use here to complete uh, all the feats and get max rewards. There will be two battles here, so first one with the full clone teams and then the second one with the Jedi to complete the two remaining feats. And now the modifier for Malakar, Drain Essence. So the character in the leading slot, so your leader will gain a special ability Drain Essence and any time uh, the leader uses that, uh, all of its allies will, look, will lose max health and protection, but in return your leader will gain uh, extra offense and also gain a bonus turn afterwards. Now for this particular one, especially the bonus turn there uh, will be huge when it comes to clones. More on that later. Now the modifier for clones, Dauntless Courage, we just get some stacking stuff, you know, it's okay, nothing too crazy there. And then enemy that get a very good one because they're immune to tenacity down and at the start of the battle they gain extra tenacity even further. So they'll be quite tenacious there applying some sort of debuffs on them might be a challenge. And also they gain some uh, bonus percent turn meter and finally they also deal true damage to all enemies whenever they use a basic ability. And as we know Kanderous if he gets going he can keep going and going with his basic doing lots of true damage to your guys. So you know, the old Republic they have quite a good modifier there. For the feats themselves, obviously we have to complete the battle. Uh, complete the battle after gaining offense up at least 20 times. Complete the battle without losing unit. And of course, finally complete the battle with a full team of clone trooper units. So these are today's feats. Uh, so in the first battle, uh, I will show you the clones. And then in the second battle, I'll, I'll do Jedi where we'll be gaining offense up and as well win without losing a unit. So this is the plan now, uh, let's first do the clones and so let me show you the mods on these guys. Um, so obviously I'll be using here Rex leadership and in terms of mods for Rex, for my testing, in order for your Rex to go first and in order for this to work smoothly you absolutely have to make sure your Rex goes first. Uh, you have to bump his speed to 310 plus. Um, so as soon as I've done that my Rex was able to go first. And then obviously he does gain some extra speed from his unique, uh, which, you know, puts his speed on further. So mod-wise, mod Rex for maximum speed. The mods on the other guys, I didn't change. These are just the mods I have on my guys anyway. I do have fives modded for more, mainly defense, really. So there you go, very high armor on fives. Echo, I have him modded for damage. There we go. Up next, Arc Trooper, also modded for damage, similar like Echo. Um, and then Bad Bad Echo, he's absolutely required in this team, I think, in order for this to work well. Uh, because uh, never any doubt ability uh, once you do put Omega on him. So his uh, debuffs there can't be resisted. So he will apply daze and healing immunity on all the enemies. And this can't be resisted once you put Omega on this ability. That's really the, the requirement here for the Bad Bad Echo, just to make sure that this can't be resisted because remember the global modifier those guys have a very high tenacity on the enemy side and in terms of uh, otherwise gear level star level it doesn't really matter also mods i didn't remote him just some random mods as you can see on him not even a complete set because rex uh, once you make him 310 plus speed he will go first uh, boost everybody's turn meter and that's why echo speed and gear level does don't really matter echo will get a turn He'll get his days and healing immunity out and then he'll get killed, that's fine. Uh, and why we want days? Obviously to stop all those assists and then healing immunity as well, because otherwise through card fleet, these guys will keep healing up 
and they'll be very hard to take down. So definitely bad batch echo here, low gear, low star, not an issue as long as you do have Omega on that ability there, so his uh, days and healing immunity cannot be uh, resisted. Alright, let's hop into battle now and let me show you how this team works. Obviously your X at 310 plus speed will go first, so what you want to do is first boost everybody's turn meter, uh, and then you do want to first go after Kandoras, because remember, if he gets going, you could be in trouble here. Uh, so I can just go ahead here, put turret over on Rex. There we go. Um, just keep calling here, uh, Arc Trooper to assist. Now we got a Taunt there, so we can go ahead and dispel that with AoE. Uh, and here comes uh, Echo with his uh, Daze and Healing Immunity. There we go. Alright. Now whenever uh, Rex gets a turn, you will want to use uh, the Drain Essence ability. Now, while this will weaken uh, your allies, it will give Rex a bonus turn straight after, which means you can get to his aerial advantage very quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So we already got now Carf out of the way, so that was their main, main damage dealer there. Uh, let's go after mi mission now. Ah, she went into hiding. Okay, so there goes Bad Batch Echo, but it's okay, he did his job, he landed days and healing immunity on everybody. Uh, so again, here we can just call somebody to assist, uh, let's go after Karth now. Okay, start pinging away at Karth. And again, we can use the Drain Essence ability, uh, giving here a bonus turn to Rex. So we got another Aeol advantage up, and there goes um, uh, Zalbar as well. Let's see if we can finish off Karth. There goes as well... Uh, Savior from five, so we can go ahead, go after Carf now. There we go. Throw up an AoE here. Uh, let's actually boost their meter on everybody. Finish off their Carth. And just now finish off mission and Johani. And this battle uh, is over. So again, let's use Drain Essence to get another bonus turn to Rex. <laughs> use Aerial Advantage on Johani. And there she goes. Boom. That's how it is here so easy this time to use your clone troopers to take care of the old republic uh, obviously we did lose uh, we did lose units we didn't get a, gain any offense up so there's still two remaining feats here uh, to complete so for this one i will be using jedi okay so i'll be using bastila lead here actually uh, versus jedi Trevan lead because with jedi Trevan's lead uh, i wasn't able to go first before uh, enemy Karth because remember he's very quick uh, so leadership from Bastila, amongst other things, will give you 15% turn meter, and this will allow then my Revan to go first. Uh, so 15% is actually more than you would get uh, just you know flat res a boost speed there from Jedi Revan. Just something to worth mentioning. Uh, let me just show you quickly my guys. Uh, now I did not remod my Jedi, but they do have good mods on them because I do love my Jedi. I love them uh, to use them everywhere. It's got Bastila with some good speed. Uh, same thing, my Revan also. Uh, then we got um, Yoda, Relic 7, a heavy modded for offense. And then up next, I'll be using Shakti here because remember we have to gain offense up uh, 20 times and on her basic uh, she will apply uh, offense up to all allies who didn't already have it. And then the other source obviously of uh, offense up will be Bastila. She can put all those buffs on Yoda, Yoda can spread them. And then on the enemy side, Karth as well can gain off and sap and then Yoda can go ahead and steal it from him and again spread it. So that's how we'll be having here three sources of off and sap and Yoda can then keep spreading it. So my Shakti, she's modded for speed, she's at 309. And then Julie here, modded for health. And there we go, some speed. Obviously I'm bringing in Julie in case I lose one of my Jedi, he can bring them back because remember, we are not allowed to lose a single unit here. Anyway, let's hop into the battle now and try and complete the two remaining feats here. Okay, first things first, let's just mark Kandras. We gotta get him out before he gets loose. Now we got offense up there from Shakti. Uh, it's basic, now we can spread them again. Remember, we have to gain offense up 20 times. Uh, let's call Yoda for an assist. Just his basic here. Call Yoda for assist again. There uh, we go. And here let's just actually call Shakti here for an assist to get rid of those uh, buffs on uh, Zalbar. Now we can go ahead, uh, get the stealth so we don't get counterattacks when we hit Zalbar. 
And now let's swap turn meter with Shakti. She's got quite high turn meter. Then she can go ahead, hide the Revan under stealth. Okay. They're putting some good hits in us. And let's now start working on mission. She's our, our next target. So just keep putting hits into her. Let's spread more buffs. Dispel taunt on Johanny. And there we go. Start putting hits into mission. Now we can go ahead and mark her. Get mission out. Um, let's call Yoda for an assist. See if we can put a big hit. Uh, barely a scratch. There goes the counter attacks. Basic. All right, let's dispel that. Let's go after Karth next. Okay. So as you can see, Karth keeps using Drain Essence. Uh, which totally uh, took all the health there from uh, Zalbar and Johanny. So they're pretty much dead now. Swap their meter. They're gone. Let's hide Revan under stealth again. And now just down to Karth. And we should be good to go here. There we go. A more offense up for everybody. Oh, actually he lost it there. Uh, unfortunate. But I think it was we got in enough times there. Anyway, let's now mark their Karth. There we go. Didn't even need a revive actually from Jolie, but I just wanted to bring him just in case we lose somebody. Jolie can bring them back because remember one of the feats was do not lose a unit. So there we go. We didn't lose a unit and we also gain offense up 20 times easily there with uh, Yoda keep, that we kept spreading offense up on all of his allies. And there you go guys. That's how easy it was to complete this time all the feats and get max rewards. I know whenever we do have clones, it was sometimes quite challenging. Like I remember last time, I literally had to spend an hour to get the RNG right. But this time it was a pretty straightforward thing just because we were able to outrun the enemy, then apply uh, days there and healing immunity with bad batch echo on everybody. So do get Omega on him so that can't be resisted. And then just keep using Drain Essence with Rex to get him lots of quick turns so then he can start Rexalating everybody. So it was a straightforward run. Now for the last remaining feats, obviously you've got plenty of options. I just love my Jedi. I love to use them when I can. Uh, so I use them there to complete the last two remaining feats without any issues. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful and helpful. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.